How to wind a center pool ball by hand. For this tutorial, you will need a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor Webs for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Northampton yarn from their Valley Yarns line in the color Bright Blue Heather. Now when you're knitting, it's a lot easier to work with a ball of yarn that's been wound to pull from the center so that you can sit the yarn down flat on the ground and just pull it out of the middle. And this is a ball that I've actually wound by hand. Now usually you'll use a, a ball winder and it'll get this kind of cool crisscrossy effect and it makes sort of a little stout cylindri cylindrical sort of ball. Okay, they call this a yarn cake. Sometimes it looks like a cake of yarn, obviously. But uh, you don't always have a ball winder nearby or sometimes you need to wind a just a small section of yarn for say a, an intarsia project so i'm going to show you a couple different ways that you can wind a ball that pulls from the center by hand now i generally use a size 50 us 50 needle for this and i'm going to show you how i do it using this we're going to take our loose end of our yarn and we're going to make a big slip knot try that again there we go okay and i'm just going to place this on the end of the needle it doesn't really matter which end i just prefer this end and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold down the tail and wrap the ball the yarn over it and as i wrap the yarn over i'm turning the needle and i turn it about Oh, a third of the way each time. Okay, and over time, we're going to get something. You can already begin to see the yarn stacking on itself, and it will continue to do so and create a bigger and bigger ball that we can then knit with. And when we're finished, we'll be pulling the tail out here, and that will be the center of the ball. It'll look very similar to this ball here. Now, if you don't have a big needle like this, you can use something like a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll that you're done using. So we can take our slip knot again, make sure that it's really big, and we will just loop that over. And we want to bring it right about into the middle of the needle or the roll. We don't want it to be too tight because we don't want to crush the cardboard here. And we're going to just do the exact same thing. We're going to begin winding around at sort of an angle here as we turn the tube. And we can see that we're creating a much bigger hole in the center, but that's okay. We're still going to get that cool crisscross effect as we wind. Now the crisscross effect is not important. What's important is that we can pull the yarn from the middle of the ball when we're finished. But if you don't want to use a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll or you don't have one nearby, um, I've used all kinds of things. Broomstick, I've used a uh, curling iron, not my own obviously, and uh, also my hands. So most of the time you're gonna just have your fingers. So we're gonna show you how we can do this with just our hands. Now winding this by hand is not really my favorite method of doing this, but if you're in a pinch and you just need to wind up a little bit, it's a great way to do it. What I'll do is take my index finger and my middle finger and lay uh, the yarn tail in between it and I'll just hold it lightly with those two. Then I'm just gonna do a few wraps around my fingers together. Now you don't want to do this tight at all, otherwise you'll lose circulation in your hand and you know, that's not fun. So then what I'll do after I've done a few wraps around like this, actually quite a few wraps so that it's got a bit of structure to it, I can then begin making this into a cake of sorts. So I'm gonna pull this off of my fingers and then I'm just going to start wrapping the yarn around that, that little ball that we created. Again, turning it as I go and wrapping it around 
each time. Now, there's lots of ways to do this. Other people have their own methods. This is the way I prefer to do it, just because it looks a little bit nicer with the finished product. So again, all I'm doing is I'm wrapping this at a slight angle, and then I'm turning it just a little bit each time. And we can start to see that crisscross develop along the edges. Now again, this is gonna, isn't gonna be quite as clean looking as if you were using a, a, another tool to wrap it around. Uh, there's actually a device made specifically for winding balls by hand from the, for a center pole that's called a NOS spindle, uh, but I don't own one right now because I've never needed to use it. Uh, but it, it's a, basically a fancy stick of wood that you wrap your yarn around. Uh, for your center pool ball. So I'm going to wrap this for a little while and then we're going to take a look at our finished ball. So here's our ball after a few minutes of winding and we can see it looks really nice. Um, again, this is without anything being wrapped over it. It's uh, just wound from hand starting around my fingers and we can easily pull the yarn right from the middle there. It's got a little bit of a flat base, so it'll sit nicely on the ground and not roll away. And that's how you do it. This is gonna be great for uh, intarsia. If you have a little bit of yarn and you don't like using a bobbin or you need more yarn than a bobbin might be comfortable holding, um, then this is a great option for you. So that's how to hand wind a center pull ball of yarn. What more news today? Join our VIP email list to get every stitch directly to your inbox. Sign up today at newstitchaday.com slash VIP.